Should be about time, right? Flying Sparks, Toby Kadachi. Oh my, that Toby Kadachi sure is getting in the way of progress. You hunters will never get a hold of these specialized tools I'm making if I become its dinner. Probably should do something about that. Reasons. Don't know where it'll be spawning necessarily. Yeah, let's use a voucher, why not? I'm gonna run out now. I haven't had the chance to run out before. Howdy, dude. I have plenty of meat, right? Yeah. Think so. Let's go over the health, stamina, and defense one. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think that was going to land on him. So what do you make of the... Alright. That's... In order to use one of your specialized tools, you'll need to equip it from the item bar. They're used just like any regular item, but their effects only last for a limited amount of time. If the tool you're using stops working, don't worry. It'll recharge after a while. Alright, so we're here to hunt a Toby Kadachi. Which is just brand new stuff. Like, that's... I don't think I've heard of that one before... Well, I've heard of it technically and that they've mentioned it for this mission. But I mean, like, I'm not used to the uh, this particular enemy. What is that? Oh, that's just... Oh, it's just three of them together. It's like, what am I looking at? Somewhere in the zone is an enemy I've never seen before. Well, right at them, just keep gathering. It all counts towards something. Question mark footprints? What could it be? Hey, no attacky. It's unnecessary. Oh, you see, now I can't find where the next one is. Oh well. One of you will become my best buddy in a moment here. Right? In the meantime, I'll work towards this culling quest. Are you my friend? Yeah, friend. Alright. I wonder if I could just take out Anjanath during this mission. When they're all like, you can't take out the Anjanath, we gotta do these other things first. Like, what if I just went over there and wiped him out? It's like, haha. Turns out we can. It's not even that big of a deal. Oh. Oh, there they are. I think I was going faster than, than they could actually get lit up. I was missing my chances to notice them. I was like, what am I looking at? Oh, where is it? Got it. You can surprisingly kind of just mash circle while running around without necessarily fully even noticing what you're looking at. Can you climb? Kind of an important question. I mean, it's an iguana dog. Iguana part says yes, dog part says no, is what I would guess. Yeah. 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 Whoops. Build that up, apparently. I think I forgot to dump stuff. That's fine. Somehow, we'll survive this. 
There it is. I'm like, I saw another one. Is this his nest? Well, that's a that's a visual design. Uh, angry mega fast bird dog, bird lizard monster. Ow! Rude. You've been hit with Be careful. Ow! Well, that's really bad news. I don't want to be stunned ever. It's kind of miserable. I saw that lightning attack coming. Ow. Pain. Is that the stun? Yep, that's the stun. Watch out. Oh, that's a stock sound if I've ever heard one. So many familiar stock sounds to hear during this game for the animal noises. Oops. Now. Would an electricity type be strong or weak against a water? I've seen both- I've seen it go both ways in games. The idea being that, like, water conducts electric electricity, so maybe the, the thing that is water will be then- it'd be critically hit by light- by electricity, but also the idea that, like, maybe said thing- maybe the water would short out the electric enemy. I've seen both versions. How'd that come back red? Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, okay. Weird, weird parts of him are sending him back red. Get unstunned, please. Come on, wake up. The tail raider left. Oh, right, because I had a one dude with me. That was bad news. Did he do like a flying squirrel thing at me? That was a weird sight. Huh. Try to track him down again. That was just poorly done on my part. Oh, that's the large, that's the Jagras, and... Oh, that's, that's a small fauna. Oh, boy. You too, huh? You are not what I'm looking for. Oh, hey, here's where that dumb Jagras encounter happened. Where I was like, hey, I wonder what that thing on the map means. Oh my god. Is this the- oh yeah. Let's check this out. This is the nest where there's often, uh, yeah, bones. I think I might have found ancient bones here once. Can Vigor Wasp increase your health past your cap? Nope. So I lost my food buff already. Great start. Oh, 
Right, I haven't manually selected you, have I? The game might already know anyway because of the fact that it's the quest objective, but I might want to manually select it. Hey, you. Ow. It hit me. That's a flying squirrel move. I was not crazy. That's totally what happened. That's insane looking. He seems to weirdly consistently give me the red buff. Like, more so than normal, I think. That almost hurt. There we go. Something just broke off. Ow. Go for the head. There we go. Ow. What am I bouncing? Which part of his body am I bouncing off of? I need to figure that out. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. That's a really cool attack. Looks completely absurd. Nope, here it comes again. Oh, he got me. Flying a squirrel attack? No, he's changing trees. That's cool. That's what you are. You're a... You're a squirrel lizard. That's the... That's... Oh my goodness. What a specific idea. <laughs> I'm holding on. Going all in. Which part of you is so resistant to my attacks? It must be his legs, maybe? The head, the head definitely takes hits. He's fleeing. I'm not done with you. Just need a little break for a moment. Come back. All I want to do is end you. I'm sure we can find a way to get along when you're dead. <laughs> Uh, instead of what? Uh, so much crap in my inventory. Needle berries. There he is. Yeah. Poop. <laughs> Oh, it's a poison pool. Oh, it's a poison pool. Don't want to be in that. Ow. Can I poison you even more? Oh, he already healed me. <laughs> a little bit of fire. He's poisoning himself. I just need to be really careful not to fall on that. Oh, more poison. Get out. Oh, dang it. That's not what I wanted. 
Oh, stunned. Let's grab those. Morty and the poison, so let's grab the piercing pods. There we go. Uh, you. Fix up. Man, he's. You, you take your sweet time drinking that that uh that antidote. He's piercing out fast. Did I do really well during that fight or something? Because he's running away fast. Oh yeah, he's about to die. Maybe it was the poison. <laughs> I, I, I unleashed poison on the area a lot. That might have affected him pretty quickly. And if that's the case, all the more reason for me to get that poison upgrade if I can. Aha! Broke another part off. Now oh, my ears. I need those to hear. They're really important. How many parts have I broken off? Do I get to keep them? Oh yeah, there's one. Might not be necessarily worth stopping for. He's currently healing. Get back up there. Uh, he runs away a lot now. That's a good sign for me. I'm out of honey stop spots. I don't have time for this right now. Uh, sure. Limited inventory games. Ah. I'm always worried about spending an eternity navigating in my inventory of like, which stuff should I hold? And then like, that's just such a time consuming question to focus on. All right, just kidding. Hello. Thank you. Out. Where are you going, Mr. You really you really are a flying squirrel monster. What a great idea. Yeah, your tail gives me offense. That's usually not the, the case. But it's clearly true at this point. Ah, that's not good. Watch out. Did I cut your tail off? There's a piece of something here. There we go. Piercing pod. You did it! Let's head back and report to the chief botanist. Gotcha. I want to be a lightning squirrel. Oh wow, you see how deep into its mouth all of the teeth go? The entire roof of its mouth is teeth. There's rows of them. How does it not bite his tongue with those teeth? Jesus. The pulsar rod. Okay, so that's one of the that's one of the ones I can work towards is the is the one you get from killing this guy a few times. That's worth considering. I kind of want a lightning wand. Lightning rod. Wasn't there a bone pile up here, I thought? I thought I saw a bone pile here. It's too late. Hopefully I didn't miss too many random pieces falling off. Oh, grab, grab, grab a plant. That one. Was that enough to get seven out of seven? <laughs> I realized I was at six out of seven. All those things. Got a times two, but I lost a thousand. Ah, I lost so much for getting KO'd. It was cool, though. It was a cool way to get KO'd, a surprise flying squirrel jump. 
I think that was the- I didn't- I don't think I had noticed it until then, and then the entire next time I fought him, he was doing it constantly. I'm like, oh my- yeah, it's just a thing he does. Definitely these smaller enemies are harder to use my flying attacks against. Uh, I miss mostly. So I don't do the flying combo nearly as much. And just try to do ground combos and just do ongoing damage if I can. Just maintain. Oftentimes aggression is heavily rewarded just because in a lot of these types of games uh, it's easy to be cautious too much and spend too much time not attacking. Awesomest. Oh my dear hunter, I could kiss you. Thanks to you, all hunters will get to enjoy the benefits of our specialized tools. Ah, which reminds me, I planted an ancient tree seed, mostly out of curiosity, but believe it or not, this time, uh, this time it sprouted. They are quite peculiar in that they draw from surrounding life to grow, and perhaps a little fertilizer. I'll spare you the details. What I'm trying to get at is, are there items that you use heavily? Perhaps I could leverage the tree's properties and a little fertilizer to grow more of what you need. Just ask and you shall receive. That sounds like a new Come feature. I've got an urgent quest. Ooh, I've got the materials for the pulsar rod. Isn't that interesting? Uh, wish list is here. Hmm, maybe check that one out, huh? Time. Happy to see you around these parts. You've seen our ancient tree before, haven't you? Just when I thought it was a little uh, sprout, it grew into this giant tree in the blink of an eye. And now we're ready for a little research. You want to get your hands on more items, right? We'll use this ancient tree to help us cultivate even more items for you to use. What was it you needed again? Botanical Research Center. The Botanical Research Center can take your plants, mushrooms, and insects and produce more of them for you. Visit the facility and select the item you wish to reproduce. The amount of time required to reproduce items varies by item, and the facility will automatically continue growing more of them until you come to collect the results. The time required to produce items advances one unit for each quest you complete. Items will not be produced if your harvest box is full. Check the baskets by the ponds to see the harvest items. Fertilizer. You can use research points to increase the amount of items produced. Facility level and harvest box expansion. As the facility level increases, you'll be able to grow more types of items at once. Expanding the harvest box means that you can wait until more items are produced before coming to collect them. Unlocking fertilizers, raising your facility level, and expanding your harvest box will all have their own requirements. What can I cultivate? Mostly basic stuff, so some ingredient, just ingredients for everything, basically. Uh, it's the only categories, right? So herb, honey, blue mushroom, bitter bug, needleberry, and latchberry. Those are both ammo items, so I'm not crazy about them. Probably honey, right? Because it gives you mega potions. Plus, it seems to be the rarest of these listed items. Time needed is one thing. Is that one mission? I can only assume. Contains the necessary nutrients to grow a large quantity of plants. Lasts for three quests. So plant, fungi, and bug honey. So you want to do summoner jelly for this one because this one is honey. And then it would, it would uh, double the output. Only 100 points. Sure, let's just try this out. And then I'll come collect when it starts filling up with honey. Sure. What's your deal? Let's get the lead out. Oh my. It's finally sprouted, which means our ancient tree research can finally start to flourish. I couldn't wait a moment. 
I set up a quest right away. Would you mind signing up for Prickly Predicament? We're trying to determine how we can increase the types of fruits and berries the trees produces. Hurry back now. But we need lots of plant samples to do it. And you look like you need some relaxing botany work. Oh. Oh cool, it's just a delivery quest. Okay. Deliver 20 bauble cactuses. Okay. I don't have to do that. I can just turn them in then, right? Do I turn that in with you? I don't know if I have 20 yet. This is where I can view where all the current quests are. There's one at the canteen and one at the provision stockpile. I'm not stock I'm not psyched about the idea of another canteen mission. It's probably really straightforward and like kill wildlife more. I might even do those off camera because they're so not interesting. Hey buddy, I hear your next assignment is to hunt that big brute in the ancient forest. Eh? No better time to stock up. New products in stock. New products in stock? Figured we'd need them. Uh, we'd be needing them. Wanna have a look? What do you need? Well, I was gonna do your quest. What do you sell even? A boomerang. An unusually shaped weapon from abroad that returns to its user when thrown. Do wonder how useful that is. But now I'm here for the quest? Are you the quest giver? <laughs> Poogie! Aw, uh, ow. Why Poogie? Ah. Just press circle to pet, and the, if you press circle, bad things happen at you, basically. Alright, that wasn't a quest, that was just him having new dialogue. Which happens all the time. Let's try to ride the elevator for once, I never really do. It seems like it'd almost be slower than just walking. Oh, can you teleport around or something? Canteen. Oh yeah, you just- okay. I thought you had to manually walk onto it. Like, wow. Since the crossing, working here in the new world's gotten tougher than ever. That means you need to get tougher. The old canteen is starting to look... look kind of canteeny in my house. We don't plateau, we make gains. So I did a little flexing and now the canteen's bulked up with all kinds of new meals. Having more choices for your pre-hunt meal means we have more ways to flex on monsters. Win-win for everyone, except monsters. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? And that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest, getting yoked in the waste. And, and we'll get that menu so beefy you can grill it. The canteen can't get yoked if I don't have that yolk. Go get my protein. The, the, oh my god. The number of workout puns crossed with the cat puns is like... Terrifying cross-section to, to arrive upon. I want to see about that upgrade now. Ooh, that seems pretty good. Get a speed boost for your Kinsect, 10% affinity, 90 thunder damage. So you lose lose the 60 water, gain 90 thunder. Large, ooh, larger green meter too. And the 10% affinity means crit chance. Alright, then let's revert. Ooh, it's got feathers on it. Look at that. Immediately, I'm taking part in the power of that creature now. That's neat. I also maxed out the Baroth mail. Just jammed all the orbs in there. Alright. Yeah, look at that. Mr. Wad has posted a quest. These usernames. What is even over? Oh, that's... That's leaving. Okay. I was like, what's even over here? I haven't been up top- I haven't been in this direction yet, have I? Let's just take a moment. Oh. 
Oh, that's where I live? You talk to the housekeeper to go there. Okay. Oh, I went right through that guy. All right. Hey, welcome back. We've almost finished securing the base. Only one thing left to do. That's right, your old buddy Anjanath. Before we attempt to capture Zora Mag Mag Magderos, we need to hunt that Anjanath down. We can't have it interfering. It's one tough adversary, so stay on your toes. Oops. Oh, before I forget, the chief said he'd started putting more protein in your pre-hunt meals, whatever that means. Said it should help with your hunts. Either way, drop by the canteen later and find out for yourself. Anyway, a powerful monster like Anjanath won't be easy to take down. Remember everything you've learned. Hold nothing back. Its objective is urgent, meaning it should be your top priority. Use everything at your disposal and hit that brute with all you've got. Okay, time to wrap up defending the base. Okay, time to wrap up defending the base. Are you implying that we're going to be not going to have to defend it anymore soon? Seems like it's probably something that never stops, this whole defending the base thing. I get these trap-related things out of my inventory. Just because I'm so full up. Ah. So you can craft even more to put into your stash if you want to. Huh. It lets you- enables you to pick up more herbs. Seems fair. Mega potions! Oh my god! Oh. That's it. Nutrients! They did their temporary buff to your maximum stats. Herbal medicine, it's like an antidote except it instantaneously removes the entire curse from your character, which seems like a good idea. One spider web. <laughs> That was the only one I had. That's the best way to do recombining of items because you can do it in a menu where you'll actually instantaneously have access to the rewards. I wish it would auto refill. Can I tell it to? Restock items from your item box? Yes. Ah! There we go. There's your auto refill button, more or less. I might use the poison smoke bomb against them. A mysterious berry that cures various blights. Can I just eat that no matter whenever I want to? Should be good to go. Alright, I should double check on you. Have I done anything? Oh, you are too good to me. Armor Sphere for completing two ancient forest quests. Gather insects three times, yes. That's super easy. Hmm. I, have I made progress yet? There we go. Yeah, because I, I hunted a new monster. Of course I've made progress. So this, for once, we have to actually talk to our handler and not the, not just the post board. Let's give ourselves some food. It's apparently been upgraded. How big are those vegetables? I guess they leveled up. Chef's Choice Platter. Attack up medium, whoa. The meat platter, 28-25. Let's 
go for that. God damn, he eats like he's gonna die in 10 minutes. All right, partner. The last step to securing, a securing Astero's defenses is to take out that troublemaker, Anjanath. We got this. While it is one nasty monster, I'm sure you'll be okay. I mean, it looks like a giant ball of cotton candy with sharp, sharp teeth. What could go wrong? Many, many things can go wrong. The encroaching Anjanath. As we're gearing up to capture Zora Madgaros, Magderos, I, we need to secure Astera as much as we can. It's too much of a reverse to, hunt, to have that Anjanath roaming so close to the base. Need HR4 to do it. Look at that reward money. I'm out of, I'm out of tickets at the moment, though. Probably 11, right? I'm guessing 11. So the quest begins. Our number one priority is to secure the base by taking out that encroaching Anjanath. Use everything at your disposal. That's the way it works here in the new world. As opposed to the old world where you would just not bother taking advantage of things that you can do. Let's look at the notes. Anjanath patrols the ancient forest looking for its favorite meal, Aptanath. This belligerent monster will attack anything without hesitation. Anjanath spits fiery blasts from its mouth, utilizing a unique organ in its throat. Focusing attacks on its throat will make battling it much easier. So attack its face, basically. And you can, well, not not literally the face, but you know. And you might be able to get it to be weakened so that doesn't do the fire thing anymore. Breakable spot on... So its weak points are face and tail. You can also break its claws. It's actually weakest to water, not thunder. But I've already chased, changed to thunder. But, you know, they're both they're both things that, are, that at least work on it. Fire would, would be bad. Poison works. Might want to use the poison pot on it. Worth considering. Let's see, I'm fed. I got my buffs. Going for it. First, we gotta track him down at all. See, is he on my map? Just great jog rest. So I guess I've just progressed with Great Jogras enough now that he's just automatically on my map immediately. So if I get- I, so, so I think I can get everyone there eventually. If I just research them constantly. Although at that point you probably don't even need to hunt them anymore, so... There's that whole thing. I hear footsteps. Oh, that might have just been the wings, actually. What's the question mark over here? Oh, this plant. Still slowly filling this map in. At the very least, you get more crafting points. Uh, not not crafting points. You get the uh, the other thing. Uh, research points. Oh, footprints. It's gone this way. Oh, you know where to go, huh? Your suggested path is up there, but I feel like I should go this way. I'll be find more. I'll find more samples. It wants me to go that way, but it can't have gone that way. Yet, I don't think because it's too big. So it's probably a shortcut to get to him. But the path, I believe, helps me with, uh, leveling up the research thing. Can I find bones here again? Yep. Oh, those ones. I was on the wrong pile of bones. That's not the real pile of bones. These are the real pile of bones. Crazy that craft- that just repeatedly... Scavenging from one of them counts as you, uh... Oh, there's one. 
That counts- that counts as you actually, like, continually, uh... It acts- it counts as multiple objective... ...progressions. Oh, right, here's this part where I jumped- he got jump, he jump scared me. But he comes to this cave a lot, it seems. Slowly over time, this location becomes more and more familiar. This map layout. What's what originally started as twisting chaos? Oh. That was a fun trick, but I don't think it worked. Oop. Give me that red. There we go. I'm hitting all the wrong monsters here. This thing is mobile. I don't know how well I'll be able to target its throat specifically. I can kind of try. Ow. Am I doing a good job? <laughs> The problem is that the, the throat is right next to the big scary mouth. <laughs> it wants to be there. Oh. Whoa, its face is expanding. Oh, that's gross. Its, it's neck gets bigger. Oh. Dangerous. You leaving? Oh, you scared? Is that what's happening right now? He's actually running away. His nose extending is freaky. <gasps> Free loot! It's just what I was hoping for before. Cutscene corpse is real life. Co oh no, it's disappearing. Did I still get it? I got some at least. Join request settings finished. What? Oh. Somebody joining me live. That's fine. Give me that attack increase. There we go. Oops, I flew off in the wrong direction completely. Ain't is mine. Quest difficulty has been adjusted for multiplayer. Sure hope he shows up then. Whoa, tail whip. Ooh, I'm on him. I'm poking him. I'm poking him. Oh, he's he's trying to get me off. Lightning joined the quest. Where are all these allies coming from? 
Wait, what happened to the last person? The other didn't somebody else join earlier and they just never showed up in my list? Ooh. Go for the throat, right? Attack up. Before I get noticed again, I think I'm already noticed. Ow. Rude. Is he co oh, he's coming back. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought, he was, I thought he was leaving. Rude. Is he just running in circles right now? Is this your HQ? By the by those things that... Oh, is he fighting you right now? Is he, is he totally getting attacked by the, the explodey animals? Uh, par get paralyzed. Get paralyzed. Get paralyzed. Yes! I think it worked. Go for that neck. I got very specific attacks. Like, when you're by my leg, I've got a leg hit. Ow. Ow. Bad times. Ow. Wow, my health is that low again? I thought I just healed. Did I not just heal? Oh, I think I'm dodging out of my healing animation an accident. Whoops. Trying to poison him. Ow, Jesus. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Jesus. There are moments where it's like, I'm not going to be able to control my character for, like, the next seven plus seconds. Faint too many times and you'll fail the quest. It's a really interesting experience trying to deal with, like, a character that you will just lose control of for huge chunks of time. Because the amount of time you'll be out of commission during an animation, it's like, oh, wow, he's, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, oh, believe me, I see the attack coming. It's, uh, nothing's gonna happen. Can't do much about that. Oh, so much for the poison pot I was saving up. I don't know if it really helped much at that point. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Any interesting loot fall off of them, at least? I have no idea, honestly, if anything was coming off of him. How did somebody join me, anyway? I thought this was a single-player mission. Is it that once it said that the SOS was available, was also when people could join manually? And it stops being a one-player mission or something? The long run.
Ah. So, so it is a fire. Ah. Wow. Wow. I just got back and I got one shot, basically. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's a bad jump. Shit. Uh, I'm trying lightning. Where do, I, where do I go? Jesus, this fight, it seemed like such an easy fight for so long. And then it's like, by the way, I can one-shot you, by the way. Bye-bye. Surprise. <laughs> what, level's, what level is lightning, anyway? Lightning is level 9. <laughs> I'm like, what, level 4? So if you haven't noticed yet, there's the check- there's check marks on my crafting screen. And the, what that means is that apparently that if I collect the materials required for crafting that item, it'll automatically get crafted. So the corner of the screen there said that it had the honey icon and that was being transformed directly from honey into high potions. Or mega potions or whatever. The idea there is that he will automatically convert the item into- oh! Into the right thing. I didn't last. As far as I can tell, the turn honey into potions thing has always been turned on. So the only reason I've had honey in my inventory is because I've had so many of those potions already. Ow! That was a bad roll, apparently. God damn. No! Fire bad. Was close. Ow. I'm down to my last death here. So I think, yeah, okay. You have that white meter of your health refilling, and if you if you dodge during that, then it cancels your healing, I think. Damn it. He's really mobile. Ow. Get out of the way. Am I stunned? I am. Got the- there's red. Come back here. I don't know how to cooperate with people necessarily because I can't really tell what my co-op partners are doing or what they what they, or how I can help. Ow. Uh, uh Jesus. Son of a bitch! Uh, I'm so dead.
Ow! How does my health get down so fast? Son of a bitch. He just destroys. Oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, Jesus. I was still stunned. Did we win? Did we lose? Whoops. You failed the quest. That's okay. Get yourself prepped and try again. Oh, did... Did they fail the quest? Did, did they get downed? Is that what... Ha I've never failed a mission before. How do you fail missions? <laughs> did, is the three... Are the three faints collective for the entire party? Is that what I'm supposed to think here? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I... I my guess would be that they got downed, and so they were the third faint. I didn't realize that it would be three faints collectively. I thought maybe it would be the host fainting three times, or anyone who gets faints three times is removed from the level, or... I don't know. Huh. He's not very... He's not super dangerous a lot of the time, but when he when he comes out of nowhere with that uh, fire attack, it just, like, takes you out. And I was trying to take out... I was, for a long time, I was trying to focus all of my attacks specifically on the neck. But I... I don't... Even after attacking the neck as much as I could, as far as I could tell, I don't think I ever successfully damaged it. Which is too bad. Three things of honey? Sure. Did I level up the Anjanath at least so I can find him faster? Uh, oh, here it is. Mm. Anshinas leveled up. So, guidance to next track. We're at least there now. Alright, so he should, he should be faster to find this time. That's too bad what happened, though. 